What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. On today's vlog, we are in Mahiangane checking out Mapakada village. place where we are going to meet the Vedas and learn about their lifestyle. So let's go in and find out more. <laughs> Upon entering the Vedda village in Dambana, we were greeted in their traditional style and language before being taken to visit the Vedda museum. I was so engrossed in the long history of this ancient and indigenous race. It was so intriguing to find out how the Vedda communities from different parts of the island looked, lived and contributed to Sri Lanka throughout its history. Unfortunately, we didn't have as much time as we would have liked to have gone through this museum. I highly recommend that you leave at least one hour to soak up the wealth of information available here. After a quick walk through the jungle, we were taken for a fire-lit demonstration on the way of life of the Vedda people. This was a very rare experience as they usually do not have guests at night, but the good folks at Mapakada village were able to organize this for us because of their good relationship with the tribal people. Starting off with the most essential skill for any tribal person, making fire. This was so captivating to watch as they created fire with nothing but their breath and the raw materials from the jungle around them. The Vedas, similar to the aborigines of Australia or the Native Americans, were the first people of our land. Their history dates as far back as the Stone Age and so supersedes the time of Prince Vijay of India's arrival in Sri Lanka. The Vedas were found all around the island and had very distinct features and skills depending on which regions they hailed from. Although the Vedas chose to stay secluded in the jungle, on many occasions it has been documented that they joined the kings of Sri Lanka in defending our island from foreign invaders. urbanization took place all around Sri Lanka, their simple way of life grew ever threatened and led to the drastic fall in their numbers. Today, less than 2,000 families remain across the island.
we just finished up our experience here in Dumana and it has been absolutely amazing. What basically happens is the vendors they give you a demonstration of their hunter gatherer lifestyle as well as some of their traditional dances and how they start fire and it's all very special and very amazing and I'm very happy to experience it and I definitely urge you all to experience it as well. This is what they do um, to preserve their culture, to inform others of their culture as well as they do this to make money because as it is they do not do, they do not resort to hunter gatherer to live anymore. They are merging into society. This is just the way it is. But it's great that they have been given this opportunity to preserve their culture. There's even an, there's even a really amazing very informative museum that you can visit that documents a lot of their past and I feel like that's the kind of thing that needs to have its own website you know in our, or you need to visit Nahyangane to learn about it but I highly highly recommend that you do it is very special and it is something that has Sri Lankans that we should definitely be aware of so and it I'm, probably may not last for too long is very I know and it's our, I think it's our responsibility as Sri Lankans to ensure that it lasts. It's our duty to ensure that it is preserved. So um, I'm very grateful to have this opportunity. I had a wonderful time and I urge everyone to come and have this experience as well. After our eye-opening experience at the Dambana village, we came back to Mapakad village to enjoy our sumptuous candlelit five-course meal overlooking the lake. This day was definitely one to remember for both of us and we sat back and reflected on how culturally rich Sri Lanka really is and how very few of us really know of it. Good morning guys, it is 5.15 a.m. and we are getting ready to do the Veheragala hike for breakfast and sunrise. It's, it's only like about two minutes away from the Mahapakada village hotel so that's very good. We got up like pretty late about five and uh, we're here now so let's get climbing and see the sunrise. down we decided to take the fun way but if you are wondering there is a safer and less treacherous way to get down 
On our way back, we were taken through some dried paddy fields for a scenic walk through the village. Something about having king coconut um, in a village or out station somewhere, they are so good and so sweet right off the coconut. Sometimes when you have um, king coconut in Colombo and at hotels they put like a little bit of sugar syrup in it to make it sweeter but this is fresh and delicious. Our hiking adventures for the trip are done. Replenishing our electrolytes via the authentic Sri Lankan way from our after a hike. Mm, it's delicious. Our journey back to the hotel gave us a closer look at the village life and how some of the folks in this part of the country live. It was an absolutely refreshing experience. Nothing but smiles and good vibes in the quaint villages of Mahiangane. Another interesting fact that many do not know about Mahiangane is that it is at the foot of three of Sri Lanka's largest irrigation projects which fall under the Mahavali project. This canal leads from one of those and we noticed how it had become a refreshing bathing spot for the locals of the area.
Hey guys, so today is our final day at Mapakada village. I am so sad to leave. It's been an amazing eye-opening experience out here and I highly urge everyone to come out here. There is a notion that Mahyangana is just about the Vedas, but there's so much more. The Vedas are a very important part that you should definitely look into. It's it's like I said before an amazing thing that you should bring your kids and family and everyone to experience but also there's so much more to do there's so much more to see so many exciting adventures and if you're like an outdoorsy person the views are amazingly beautiful like you saw and there's so many more things to do here three days is not enough so I would come here for like a week next time but yeah that has been amazing thank you to Mapakada village for having us we've had an amazing time and we can't wait to come back yep that's it for this one. I will see you guys in the next one.